What's up guys and welcome back to another video on my channel and today we are going to take a look into the Bitcoin Cash price chart, into the EOS price chart, what are our potential next price targets and in which time period it is likely that we will achieve these price targets. But before we are getting started, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to this channel if you guys are brand new and of course the first link in the video description is my Patreon account. There you get access to all my portfolio and trading updates live and in real time. Also there you get access to my Discord community where you can chat with all community members, also including me. So looking forward to see you guys there and now let's get straight into the analysis. We will not go into Bitcoin Cash and EOS directly because first I think it is uh, a little update is needed and I was also asked to do a little update on that and that is uh, the general market outlook. Uh, just a little update uh, to this topic because last night we could see this yeah, this liquidation move almost in every crypto we got down. yeah quite a bit and then also uh, going back up very fast and right now yeah Bitcoin Cash for example is doing very well but all the others are also coming back up some are a little bit uh, more to the upside some are a little bit less but right now I want to give you a little general market um, outlook here and that is this one right here that is the buyer index and that is a self-developed indicator that is showing us how many buyers are in the market right now of course if there are too many buyers in the market like for example right here then this gives us the hint that very likely a bigger correction will follow in the near future and if there are very few buyers in the market like for example right here then this is an indication that the trend very likely will uh, yeah just get started and that there is much more space to grow and you can see this right here let me zoom in a little bit you can see this right here first many buyers got back into the market right here and with this yeah, liquidation move that we saw last night we are we were kicking up, uh, all of them out back out again and right now we are here where the red line is so uh, still if you see this in the general trend so still uh, not very high right now so there is still much more space to grow right here and that gives us the general uh, the general market outlook that this bull run is not over yet i see i also see the first comments that um, they are writing okay right now uh, we are very close to the end and according to this index to this buyer index very likely we are not at the end and there is much more space to grow and that is just a little update that i want to give you on the general market and i would say let's start off with bitcoin cash bitcoin cash is doing yeah, I would say phenomenally well right now. It is uh, absolutely, you can see this right here, in just a little bit more than two weeks, it's um, more than doubled. That is very nice. And now, uh, as we broke above this uh, old local high right here, also had two daily candle closes right now. Uh, also with the liquidation move, we got, yeah, we had a very big liquidation in Bitcoin Cash right here going back down to $600. Right now we are up again at 750. That is yeah, absolutely crazy. But let's see where our next price target for Bitcoin Cash is. You can see, yeah, we had the daily uh, the daily candle close already above this above this local high right here. That means that this price target is already active. And let's see where this price target will get us. And this price target will get us to, to a price target of $961.42 in a time window till the 20th of March. So that is in a little bit more than one month. Uh, so that is my price, my next Bitcoin Cash price target that I'm looking for. And right now it seems like that we are uh, also that we will likely reach this target so bitcoin cash is looking very bullish and also with the outbreak that is absolutely very nice also you can see here with the liquidation move we retested it, the old local high of course we also got a little bit um, more downside here and also not just tested this level but also going uh, 
down through it but then quickly come back up so that for me is a positive sign and then let's also take a look into EOS in EOS we have a little uh, yeah it is a little bit more it's not it's not really complicated but there is a little bit more to show so in EOS you know if you are following my Patreon account you know right here I have opened a trade because we had this outbreak out of this out of this bearish uh, channel right here that you can see and we uh, we had already three to four attempts right here one two three and that was the fourth attempt you can see here beautiful outbreak daily close above the uh, above the bearish zone then we got the retest and then just yeah just going straight up right here and right now we are at the uh, right now we are at the yeah almost five dollar zone right now and let's just take a look into this uh, into this into this price target because when we are doing this then we can clearly see so this is uh, this is the same analyze method that I'm using in Bitcoin Cash and you can see that it hit the price target pretty pretty exact and then also you can see here at the at the between the 540 and the 560 uh, there is uh, there is a resistance zone right here that was this high right here and that is exactly where we got rejected so far uh, also got down here with this li big liquidation move I don't know how many percentage that was in EOS uh, that was yeah almost 30 percent 27 percent that is not very little and that is also right now the next or the the current price target is this one right here so the fifth 540 to 5, uh, 560 level that is the that is the next price target and what I want to see is a daily candle close above this price target and when we will do this next uh, daily candle close above this level right here then let's also take a look then in into the next price target because you can see when we do this again you know uh, if you watched my last videos you know three rectangles is normal after three rectangles uh, very likely we see a normal correction also sometimes it is three rectangles but sometimes it's also extending to five rectangles but in general after three rectangles I would expect uh, something like this that we just had right now but uh, not in this fast liquidation move so uh, a normal correction so let's just take the third rectangle here and just uh, the time window of course right now is not exact because we don't know when we will have this daily candle close above this this uh, five yeah let's say 560 range uh, and that depends so the time window depends on the daily candle close above this but you can see the next price target would be at seven dollars 28 and let's also take a look into the resistance and you can clearly see that here at this level we have also an, a price resistance and you can see here uh, $7.30 is our rectangle target then we have here another resistance at $7.60 then here is also uh, to, from $8.30 to $8.60 so a lot of resistance will uh, EOS will facing right here um, also possible that uh, after this third rectangle because as I said here is a lot of resistance we will see a little pullback but sometimes also as we as we saw right here EOS for example here this is also the the blue lines are resistance levels and you can see here just broke through it broke through it and the third one was where it uh, just calmed down a little bit so uh, I would also not be surprised if if uh, we just uh, break through this but in general of course it it also depends on the general market because when there are signs that we are doing the next 30 to 40 percent correction in the market as I showed you in the Bitcoin chart that is nothing unusual that is always uh, always uh, likely in the crypto market you can see this right here that are the corrections in the bull uh, in the last bull run 34 uh, 34% 33% 38% so that is nothing unusual and when the next one will happen and EOS is then at this this where is the EOS chart there uh, when EOS then is at this level right here then of course it is much more likely that EOS will fail to 
to break through the resistance right here but that is also counting for the other cryptos but also the general market updates i will give you also right here on this channel but right now i want to give you the eos and the bitcoin cash price targets and final summary is right now eos first target is this one right here five dollar fifty five and after this so after we have a daily candle close the next price target is at seven dollars uh, seven dollar twenty eight and in bitcoin cash the next price target is at 961.42 dollars and that are the next price targets if there should be any changes if this should be in bitcoin cash and eos and the other cryptos that i cover also if it would if it should be in the general market you will get that update in li live and in real time on my patreon account the link is the first in the video description so make sure to check that out and also you will get this on youtube but on youtube of course you will get it delayed so only on patreon i can post that live and in real time if you have any questions on that or if you have another opinion then please feel free to write them down in the comments if this video was helpful then please leave a like subscribe to this channel so you won't miss out any future updates and of course as i said the first link down in the video description is my patreon account definitely make sure to check it out it is absolutely worth it that's it for this video see you in the next one and as always have a nice day